Welcome back to Sakura Agent, everyone. In the last episode, we are fighting some entanglers, which are some space squids, but they're off screen, so. so we yeah. don't know what they, exactly they look like. But uh, uh, Kimiko's dress here got torn up because, of course, it did. And, you know, I like your panties, by the way. Why do you have to say something like that now? She gets a little flustered. So I can win our bet. Akira? You're going to get a formal complaint. Sure, I will. <laughs> so confident. Dot, 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 dot. We've cleaned up the incursion for the most part. Kimiko's already repaired her clothes. So it looks like it was a tie. Huh. Oh, well. The important thing is we got rid of them and everyone's safe. So, since it's a tie, why don't we go half and half? Eh, yeah, sure. Why not? Got a deal. Great. Where do you want to eat? We'll, we'll work that out later. We still have to go through that interview, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh well, after then. I mean, they talked about lunch, but it's, it's nighttime. super in the middle of the night. So, Well, then again, I that? have my lunch at like 5 in the afternoon. Um, what? How long is this interview going to take, I was about to say, but like, <laughs> Good ugh, question. Yawn. You know... It's really always interesting to see that ability of yours. She's able to form solid objects from nothing. It's also rather convenient when she has to repair certain things like clothes. Actually, no. It's inconvenient. I like bodies. Now I can't see her panties. I guess that's why the agency picked me. They do tend to go for people with unusual powers. But there's people like you too, Akira. Even though you have a lot of... personality flaws. That doesn't mean you need a special power. Hey, it's not like I have an inferiority complex or anything. So, you don't need to butter me up. She shakes her head. I really mean it. You're kind of a pain when it comes to day-to-day -day stuff, but there's no one better around when you need someone to watch your back. Aw, you're gonna make me blush. But thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Anyway, so what did you want to do for lunch? Wait, what? Can we go to that place that serves the spicy barbecue ribs? I thought you just said you wanted to... Uh, your love for gigantic stacks of ribs is going to be your undoing, Kimiko. After all, you might become fat. All right, great. Her face turns pale as I say that. F -f fat Don't tease me about that, Akira. Uh, hey, I was only joking. You better have been. Anyway, we should head back now. Since we had to wait for nightfall, your interview will be tomorrow. Y yeah, no problem. You will put in a good word for me, right? We'll see. Now you're starting to make me nervous. Well, someone has to keep you on your toes. Aw. After all, we wouldn't want you to go we wouldn't want you to go back to how you were. Do you even remember if you ever turned up on time to work before we partnered up? I probably didn't, actually. The two of us quietly talk as we walk out of that busy district. So busy. Oh, hello achievement. Well then, Kimiko's reports have been rather consistent. And the results cannot be denied. Increased productivity, showing up to work on time. No side adventures, to use terminology that you use to share with us all of the time. The board member nods to himself. I think this arrangement has proven to be a good influence on you. However, I would like to remind you that we cannot afford to any loose cannons in this agency. If Kimiko reports even the slightest thing off, then you know what will happen. Yeah... I'm well aware. Total mind scrubbing and reassignment to a mundane office job where they can keep an eye on me. Not the nicest thing that could happen to someone, for sure. Well then, Akira, meeting adjourned. I cannot help but let out a sigh of relief as I leave that room. Not to say that I'm the sort of guy who wavers when faced with advers adversity, but damn. The board members in there can cut steel with their glares alone. Kimiko appears again. It went well, I take it? Well enough, I guess. There won't be any mind scrubbing in the near future. That's good then. It would be really a waste of a waste to mind scrub you. I think so too. I was trying to be nice to you and you used it to boost your ego. <laughs> hey, being nice isn't going to fry the space squids when they come wriggling out of Come to think of it, has anyone worked out where those things come from yet? They say another dimension. 
Well, that much is apparent. But what kind of dimension exactly? And they don't look that smart. I just shrug. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. The important thing is that I get to keep my mind in its current, dirty state. Working for an agency that covers up or disposes anything deemed too abnormal for the public eye sure has its downsides. Oh my god, they work for the SCP Foundation. What is... Oh, like SCP Containment Breach? I know that yes. reference. So, how about that launch? Sounds good to me. Uh, I could go for lunch. Ribs, glorious ribs. <laughs> the district looks a lot different during the day, does it? Kimiko is eagerly digging into the massive pile of ribs in front of her. These ribs <laughs> are the best. I don't know why it, why it is that she ri orders ribs every time. If I take my eyes off her for a second, all that will remain of her ribs are a pile of bones. I ended up ordering something very simple. But I like plain rice, is what I assume you said. <clears throat> Just because you like something <laughs> doesn't mean that you should only eat that thing you like. You can talk, Himiko. I stare at the gigantic pile of bones on her plate. What? It's nothing, don't worry. Anyway, you should really learn to broaden your horizons. It's a weird dynamic that we've settled into. Well, she's technically only my assistant, it's more like a partnership than anything. She's constantly pu She constantly pushes me to improve my lifestyle. You have to eat better. You have to show up on work on time. Stop looking at those girls that way. But hey, it's nice to have someone who worries about you. Hey, Akira, are you listening to me? Uh, oh, right. Uh, sorry. I got lost in my own thoughts there. Damn it, Akira. Why are you such an airhead? I didn't think my head was full of air. Honestly, it's kind of cute when she start call when she starts calling me names. It's like she's trying to trying hard to insult me, but falls flat. She just shrugs. <sighs> Maybe I can hit you on the head and see if it rings hollow. I don't think that will be necessary. Perhaps it is. Say, do you want to stay here a little longer? Eh? A little longer? Yeah, we're on high alert, but we don't have to stay at HQ necessarily. Why don't we spend a little longer out on the town? Mm. A small smile forms on her face. I would love to, Akira. Aw. It's kind of weird, but somehow she's really grown on me. I guess all I can do is wait and see what happens from here. Suddenly, we begin to hear the sound of people panicking. Akira! Don't worry, I'm on it. I quickly check my PDA. There appears to be an incursion happening right now. We'd better get it. We'd better move right away. Whatever this thing is, it looks like a big one. Right. She nods at me. Oh, but first... Akira, what could be so important that we need to wait? I walk up to the front counter. I just want to pay for our meals first. But you said we were going to split it. Just let me do it this time. You can shout me next time, okay? I wonder what that word that's supposed to be. Because... I always wonder how words are mistranslated and what they... Well, whatever. You can pay next time. How about that? That's reasonable. We couldn't just leave without paying. I'm a law-abiding citizen, after all. With that out of the way, we hurry toward the source of the incursion. Kimiko already has her gun out. Shoot first and ask questions later. Got it. Although that leads to several misunderstandings. <laughs> A number of tiny black holes dotted across the sky. Out of them come small, dark creatures. Ah, they're gremlins. I hate gremlins. All the more reason to start firing. Together, the two of us begin taking them down. But for everyone we shoot, two more seem to pop up. Damn, there was a lot more than I was expecting. Don't worry, we just need to shoot more of them. Yeah, we really do. It seems like such an obvious solution. <laughs> just keep shooting them until they run out of numbers. But that doesn't seem to be working this time. Despite our perfect aim, we find ourselves pushed back. The gremlin swarm begins to swell with numbers. In fact, they're beginning to fill the streets to the brim. Damn it, if I only had my gun on me. Or I only have my gun on me. I don't have any equipment to deal with an incursion of this size at the moment. 
Kimiko looks like she's struggling to stand her ground, too. This is looking pretty bad. Actually, this is looking really bad. Akira. Yeah, I know. The two of us know for sure that we aren't going to be able to hold this off by ourselves. We're going to need more firepower. We might need to call for bat. I trail off as I hear something boom in the distance. The gremlin horde freezes as the sound echoes through the streets. What is that? Good question. Boom, boom, boom. Something powerful is coming this way. I didn't see any breach big enough for a large creature to emerge from, but whatever it is, it's coming closer to us. We're gonna need a bigger gun. Just leave it to me. As Kimiko begins to materialize something bigger, however, a sudden explosion in front of us causes all of the gremlins to go flying. What the hell? A huge cloud of debris blocks my vision for a moment. It's then that someone else comes into view. Comments? Questions? Criticisms? Uh... Yep, my thoughts those exactly. Those jeans cost her $200. <laughs> I actually saw a picture of jeans today that were just like stripped down to literally the seams and they apparently retail for 160 bucks. You can sell anything to dumb people. A strange looking woman is resting her foot on top of one of the gremlins. Her tattered jeans barely cover anything at all, giving me an unobstructed view of her panties. Her plump thighs push out against the places where one jean leg is torn. The other leg is completely gone. There's the quad butt. <laughs> yeah. What's even more striking is the tiny top, which barely covers her chest. As she stands there, taking in deep breaths, I can't help but watch as her chest heaves up and down. Akira, what are you looking at? A very fine pair. That's what I'm looking at. Stop it. Right now. Kimiko seems to get really mad at me. What? I'm not allowed to say what's on my mind? You were the one who asked what I was looking at. You aren't actually supposed <laughs> to answer it. Then why did you ask? Why is she so mad all of a sudden? I just shrug it off. You there. The strange looking girl turns to look at me. Who are you? Huh? I'm me! Uh... Well, me? What is your name? Me! This is just going to go around in circles unless I ask her some proper questions. Do you know what these things are? Maybe. How did you stop them? I hit them until they stopped moving! You're saying you did this with your bare hands? Yep! Uh... She must be one of those kinds of people. I'm guessing her power is abnormal strength. Definitely not the kind of person I could take on right now. She doesn't look like she's an extra dimensional, so I think I'd better call HQ and ask them for more information. Well, just stay there for a moment. But before I can act, she disappears in the streets. Bye now! Uh, hey, get back here! She moves too fast for me to catch up to her, however. Who was she? I don't know. But I'm going to have to tell HQ about this right away. Someone like that doesn't just show up out of nowhere. So I'm going to need some answers. Dot, da 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 dot, dot. So, Agent Akira, the board member looks at me. Before you proceed with your report on this afternoon's incident, I'm afraid we have some exciting news for you. You're afraid of this exciting yeah, news? Yeah, I'm like, what might that be, sir? Well, we couldn't help but notice you, what a good dynamic you had with Kimiko. I guess that is a good dynamic, but why are they bringing that up? With the increase in incursions lately, we don't want any agents working out in the field alone. So, we are going to be assigning a rookie to you. A rookie? I don't really understand why you would pick me for this assignment. It's for you to exercise responsibility. <laughs> responsibility. Right. But I do need to be responsible for closing the episode because we have hit 15 minutes. If you like what we do here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look at our Twitter 
and our Discord channel. We have a Discord channel! There's a Discord channel! There's a link in the video description for our Discord channel. I'm there all the time and chat all the time with everybody. Um, you can also support us through Patreon and PayPal, and you can buy this game on Steam through a link in the video description. And that will do for my self-promotion because this is episode two, so no more self-promotion from here on out. That is how we work around here on the channel. But that will do it for our episode, at least, for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow for another episode. Bye!